our relationship with water has appeared in many different forms. Researching into these forms helps us understand how we engage and interact with water in totally different ways. Bringing the water towards London Bridge Station provides a direct link to the new waterfront. Using historical reference, we will introduce water into the Galleria, redesigning back to its original associated wharf like in 1970. Hayes Galleria will become a new waterfront. Hayes Wharf. A new south pier for the Agora allows for better integration with water-based transport, which will offer the chance to reduce the pressure on the road networks and links directly to a new, open and water-connected Agora for London. To face the challenges of the future, we need to design with water rather than against it. We need to make the best of being in touch with water. Growing urban populations across the world are driving the rising demand for water and climate change is posing a threat on the systems that we rely on. Transforming the old city hall into a wetland park and biodiversity hub not only provides a natural flood defence and water filtration system, but also creates a beautiful moment for those who enjoy sitting by the river. To the north, there are more sensitive, resilient interventions. The Tower of London Moat is filled with water again, and a new canal is used as a wayfinding tool linking Tower Hill to the new waterfront and North Pier. To the naked eye, this is just amenity. But it's more than that. The moat also provides a central hydropower. Water makes up everything. Life wouldn't exist without water. Yet we spend billions building barriers to protect and distance ourselves. We need to shift our mindset to embrace water and all positive benefits and changes it brings to cities, people and the environment. We must learn to engage with water, live with water and become creative with the fact that water is going to come into London and there's nothing much we can do about it. Our proposal would challenge the linearity of the Thames by providing a link between North and South for a civic piece of infrastructure and the creation of new piers. The Agora strives for civic connectivity to counter the current disconnect we have with our political system. The Citizens' Assembly is located on the Thames, where the ceiling is the sky and the floor is the river, connecting the city and people with water in a new public political space. We aim to promote transparency and democracy through the building's form, walking from the top down to experience the river's edge, but most importantly, feeling connected to the workings of our government. Walking down the ramp, you see the river and the vast steel truss frames the views of London as visitors walk around the outside walkway. The Agora is a permeable experience, open in the way you work, floating above the water, and a new workplace that we recognise is not how we work today. The previous City Hall aimed to be a living room for the city, but this was not successful. Our proposal seeks to elaborate on this concept, where the built form will provide a new living room that serves all of London.
From inside, you look out into the heart of the Agora, with long continuous halls that you can move in and out of from the external walkway. As you are leaving the Agora from the north, the waterfront has been upgraded, creating larger walkways and extended public rail. The once narrow walkway is now a wide path, with rain gardens and seating, as well as a new Lido. There are a lot of bridges that go across the river but there are not many that are people-centric, for people to use and that focus on the footfall rather than the cars. This is a new infrastructure of a new age that is all about people. The design concept originated from a simple circle form, connecting the city and people with water. This is the new Agora, a creation that London needs rather than what London wants. The future of the river is human-centred, resilient and alive.